Hello, this is Craig, and let me show you the progress I've made on the Avatar Creation Toolkit. So, I can't do mesh modifications yet, so it's basically superheroes. I mean, I, I can't do things like sleeves or collars or pants because they require me to change the mesh of the character. Um, but I can do superheroes just fine. Now, this isn't just uh, a simple repaint. Uh, this has a lot of more complicated bump mapping features. Uh, which I'll show you. Um, now I could actually go ahead and paint his backside, but that would take time and I don't feel like it. Uh, so this guy is going to be the the ass-free wonder. You can change the size of the brush by using your mouse wheel and then go ahead and give him like a mask or something. Uh, we can go ahead and... I didn't make it small enough, so we'll go ahead and delete pieces of it like this. this a little bit. So as you can see, you can spend as much or as little time modifying this as you'd like, and of course there would be defaults that you could choose from. You wouldn't have to uh, make your character from scratch. You could choose from the defaults, but I find that the defaults usually don't include all the things I want. Um, so just for the sake of showing off what's possible, I'm also going to go ahead and give him chords rather than being the magic stick-on mask. So, in addition to just one material, you can use uh, several different materials. The materials can be uh, quite different. They're not just a color difference. They are, in fact, a fundamental height and stiffness difference. Um, these materials can be limited in your game. So, for example, you might have materials which are prestige materials or uh, purchasable materials rather than um, rather than being freely available. Now, if you allow characters to be imported from whatever game the players you know have created them in, then they'll have whatever clothes they bring in with them, which could include materials that are supposed to be limited in your game. So there is always the option to import the character, but not the clothes, and you require them to use your game clothes. Um, let's go ahead and fill in his crotch just a little bit so it doesn't look quite so dirty. Uh, this also works fine with using multiple um, uh, body mods at the same time. This same sort of character would work fine if you were to have a fat or muscular or female or some combination of the above. Um, I just don't have it currently equipped in this particular project. It's the same mesh. It can be modified in the same way. I just don't have it combined quite yet. Uh, also, this can all be saved to the database and then loaded, which is another thing that I'm not actively doing because I don't have... I, um, UI is a pain in the ass. Uh, as to how complicated or simple you can make this, uh, I've put this metal built in, but I can go ahead and uh, edit it down at the pixel-by-pixel pixel frame to go ahead and give it whatever appearance I'd want it to have. So you don't have to have a specific... Um, you know, go with uh, specific icons or specific features. You can make your own. Uh, the um, the complexity can be really quite high. So, for example, I'm showing you Superhero, but I'll show you something else in a little while. First, I want to show you Wrinkle Mode. This is a way to quickly add wrinkles to your character's uh, suit, because uh, since you're not doing any mesh modifications, you need to have bunt map wrinkles. So, you can see this is the sort of thing you do to add in wrinkles. I'll we'll turn off mirroring for the ones on the chest, because otherwise it looks kind of silly. Um, I can't actually get the wrinkles on the chest to look right, no matter what I do. Um, it's still in alpha, so uh, I guess I, I have the excuse that, it, because it's in alpha, I haven't figured it out yet. Um, but it's something I'm going to have to figure out in the long run. Alright, so, you know, you can create a superhero and put in wrinkles of any kind, um, and any any size, any shape, whatever you'd like. Uh, but, as you can see, horizontal wrinkles tend to get screwed up, and I think that that might have more to do with the UV map than the actual... Well, whatever. It's an alpha. You can see how the potential is here, even if some of the stuff is buggy. Um, now, I showed you superheroes because that's the easiest... And that's that's what you get. 
but uh, uh, it's also very easy to create other kinds of clothes. For example, I can show you how to create a, a t-shirt. Now normally you would have the t-shirt pre-built and they just select, oh I want to you know, have a t-shirt. But if they wanted to build it themselves, they could. So here you can see we've got a rather femi t-shirt. Um, and it's only... Uh, uh, but you can modify this in a lot of different ways. So for example, if we bring the brush width down to 1%, we can do, or, or one pixel, we can do a lot of uh, slightly crazy lace work, uh, which will allow us to create as much or as little uh, complex detail as we want here. Um, this system also supports transparent textures. So for example, uh, this, this uh, uh, ultra lightweight silk is actually something like 10% transparent. Um, which doesn't have any effect here because I'll just all it does is really just make the silk slightly pinker. But if you had uh, a system where you had multiple clothes stacked on top of each other or whatever, uh, it's very easy to have not just the on-off transparency but also the uh, uh, fundamental uh, uh, alpha transparency. You know, 10% or 20% or whatever you want it to be. But as you can see, you can create all sorts of stuff from this relatively easily. Um, and you can also do all sorts of, of uh, cool complexity if you wanted to. But you don't have to if you don't want to. And this stuff can all be done in-game. This is all live in the play mode. Uh, and you can, uh, uh, you can make it so that, you know, a character finds a certain amount of a certain kind of cloth or whatever. Um, and uh, uses it. I think, oh, I am applying delete because I am not very smart. I was trying to do wrinkles, and instead I deleted cloth. There we are. Oh, see, it doesn't doesn't like the wrinkles on the chest. Oh, I'll get it figured out eventually. Well, anyhow, that's uh, that's the sort of thing I've been working on, and it seems to be coming along just fine.